A popular trans activist was so mad at me that they blocked me. But what did I say? The trans activist also complains about white vegans. But while doing so, they go against the very trans activism tactics that they say they support. Let's get to the bottom of this, hopefully without me getting cancelled. Because as always, I'll just say what I think. You're cancelled. Someone sent me screenshots of a Twitter thread by Ethel Thurston, who goes by Essence of Thought on YouTube. It's an interesting thread that I mostly agree with. In this Twitter thread, they basically explain why it is ridiculous to expect individuals who face discrimination to remain silent, to expect them to just turn the other cheek. It's a good thread uh, and it's linked in the description if you want to read it. The reason I say individuals and not just trans people is because in this thread they rightly mention other forms of discrimination as well. Remember this for later or you will simply not understand the really interesting part that's just coming up. Based on this rather reasonable thread, some people pointed out that these might be the very reasons because of which animal rights activists just go on about the discrimination faced by non-human animals. Ethel's response to this was to say that to compare human suffering with animal suffering with non-human animal suffering is to trivialize and insult human suffering. It is to trivialize the suffering of marginalized humans. But ironically, the only reason they believe that is because they think so lowly of non-human animals. Now I've looked through some of Ethel's videos and it turns out that Ethel lives in India having migrated from the UK. When we first moved to Delhi, myself having come from the UK. So let me use an example from India. Consider the case of homophobic people in my country who get really offended if you compare homosexual couple, any homosexual couple, with a straight intercaste couple. Both homosexual couples and intercaste couples have been historically, or at least in the last 200 years, been a taboo. But don't you dare compare any homosexual couple to a straight intercaste couple. I mean, they're straight after all. So by comparing those homosexual couples to these straight intercaste couples, you are spitting on their intercaste love. You are being casteist, casteist. You're doing the work of fascists, to use the words of Ethel Thurston. That is their mentality, that is how they think. But what any thinking person can understand is that you are not being casteist. You're not spitting on their intercaste love because you don't think of homosexual couples as being disgusting in the first place. Similarly, vegans are not insulting marginalized people by comparing the suffering of marginalized people to the suffering of non-human animals. Ethel, it is not that you are special and that you have some kind of concern for marginalized humans that we lack as vegans. It is that we as vegans lack this disgust and prejudice and hatred for non-human animals that you possess. Ethel also goes on to complain about white vegans. I mean, Ethel, I don't know your exact ancestry, but you look very white. You're very white. So are you trying to be one of those whites who saves people like me from all those other evil whites? And about white savior complex? I guess that's me. It's, it's not a good look. Drop it. Ethel also says that white vegans become vegans to absolve them of their crimes to other people. I mean, like... That's like saying people stop throwing gay people off of roofs to absolve them of their crimes to other people. Now, why did Ethel Thurston or Essence of Thought block me on Twitter before I ever interacted with them? I mean, I wish I could tell you, but I have absolutely no idea. So let us just apply Ethel's method and just assume the worst about Ethel. I think it's probably because Ethel just hates brown people, which is a prejudice that exists amongst some whites, or since Ethel lives in India, it might also be the fact that Ethel just hates indigenous northeastern tribal people, which is certainly a prejudice that is quite common in India, certainly more common than it should be. And since I am an indigenous northeastern tribal person, 
Ethel blocked me. That must be it. At least that's how Ethel's mind works. Oh, by the way, on that note, you have to watch this other video I made about how indigenous tribal people everywhere have to go vegan as well. Click here to support the channel and I'll see you in the next one.